Hi, Benny Valeen here. We're going to look at the music I wrote for Marvel Snap's trailer for this season, Big in Japan. Uh, so I was writing for mecha robots punching each other. I knew I wanted action, and I was pretty sure that an odd time signature would feel really cool here to give it the sort of edgy, techie vibe. Um, so when I initially wrote this, I used a lot of 7-4. That ended up changing later, the timing and the animation changed it, and I chopped up those 7-4 measures into various different time signatures. But I'm going to go with my original uh, version here at the piano, and then I'll look at the later version when we're looking at the music production. And the main ways that the Japanese influence played into this, um, one was just in the scale that I used for a lot of this. Which is one of the modes of the Japanese pentatonic scale, I don't remember what it's called. Um, but it's similar to Phrygian, it gives me that flat 2, so it could be aggressive and rock-like. The other thing is, in Japanese instrumentation, you might double something in fourths, so I kind of took that one step further here and did stacked fourths, which is kind of similar, but also much more of a jazz harmonic language. I also feel like stacked fourths... ...have a very, to me, a very metallic cold, mechanical, hard, like that kind of sound. So I felt like they connected this idea of giant machines and Japanese culture really well. Yeah, you can see a little extra notes there at the bottom of the page. This is a great way to work on something, by the way. Um, take a break from it, come back to it, just listen to the whole thing, and take notes as you're listening, the main things that stand out to you. And that just gives you instantly a checklist, like a to-do list, and you work on those things, and that's a process that can be repeated. I often use that in the final stages of working on a track. So, speaking of final stages, let's go look at the final production of this. I have, first of all, Koto and then Shakuhachi, some uh, Japanese instruments. The shakuhachi just has one note. Then I have several electric guitars. I think I'm always using... Two of them at least are uh, Sunburst from Native Instruments. Just using the built-in effects on it. Then I have another one, it's similar, but has more reverb on it as a lead. And this last one, this is a sample out of, uh, from East West. For the more electronic sections here, for the Neon City, I have this acid mono lead, We're using Monarch. I have a pad from Massive. Yeah, that fills it out nicely. This next one's really important. So I, it says more metal percussion. This, it was later after the other percussion, but I added these metal sounds on top. Um, I think they're from a kit from Damage. Yeah, Metal Menu 1. Beautiful samples here. They're, they have a very hard attack and not much low end, but if you combine that with bass drum or taiko or something, it provides a really powerful full frequency spectrum sound. And it's perfect for these robots. So that was that. Um, I did use some loops from the damage menu here. That was interesting though, because they had to be modified some. If I mute this, 
here at the top. We have a snare drum and stuff like that. I did combine two hi-hat rhythms um, overlapping to create the right flow for the section. Because this one had very little in the second half of the loop. Um, but then down here, this loop starts like that, but it has the kick drum right at the beginning, so I was able to add my own kick drum pattern here in the second half by just restarting the loop a few times. Yeah. Um, so I think this is a good example of how you can work with loops, especially for just a short section like that, but still craft your own sound and make it match the phrase and not just sound dumped in. Um, Gentle acid bass. And then I have a chill drum kit. It's mostly just providing a kick drum here. Very simple clicky 808 thing to just fill out the low frequency. And a little bit for the neon section there. Not a lot of strings in use here. They kind of emphasize the rhythmic stuff going on here. and they track in parallel to the bass. They join in for this hit. And for those hits, they actually sound awesome there. This is a combination of um, Metropolis Arc 1 and Cinematic Studio Strings. Brass, a lot of hits. Mostly Metropolis Arc again. Oh, there's those like stacked fourths. They sound so good in brass. Here for these extended French horn things, I combined the Berlin brass samples for realistic attacks, but to get good swells, I use sample modeling's horns. I usually follow them with a, I use this tiny uh, kilohertz reverb. You can see everything turned down in terms of decay and size um, and to all towards early reflections. This just helps to make them sound less dry and sterile and then after that I feed them through a room reverb. And now let's head into the orchestral percussion here. At the beginning here it's mainly driven by Tycho's. Let's just listen to those. So for my low end, I used uh, the hits from hits and the kit from the Metropolis Arc again. Here we have a hit with some quirky stuff for high end. Um, a little cymbal crash, one note on piano, and xylophone. What's the xylophone doing there? <laughs> Okay, um, here we have a cymbal swell. And then some hits leading into the next section. A little. There is, there's extra xylophone for these hits at the end. You can have these like dinky little high end instruments and you layer it on top of everything. And it just, I shouldn't talk while I'm playing the music. You can layer them on anything else and it just cuts through so much harder. Final hit here, we have this. And a little bit of a roll. And that's it. Oh, a few, of course, always a few rise and hit samples. Um, that one was to go along with the lightning. Gang shouts. <gasps> These, by the way, are from a free instrument. Snaps, claps, slaps, stomps, and shouts. Say that five times fast. Uh, really great little plugin. The shouts and the stomps in particular, I found really useful and fun. That's it, let's listen to the finished thing.
that's it. Take care.